Hi, my name is Nilu Payasman and two pieces from my Gromia Water Lily series are currently exhibiting in the Ways of Belonging exhibition. In these two specific images you see, they are self-portraits of myself with an overlay of archival images that have been woven together but also a collage of my own parents. This work is very important for me as it speaks about my identity and how I place myself in both society and the arts world. As part of this exhibition, I was also on a residency in Chandos Primary School and I ran a series of workshops with three different groups and we spoke about the different ways we can use craft forms as a way of articulating different thoughts and emotions. The work speaks about this idea of implementing what it means to belong in a space, but also what it means to understand where your identity stands. Seeing yourself as a superhero is something that I found resonated really well with these students. They were able to really get into character as well as portray themselves in a way that they felt comfortable in. The portraits are actually exhibited alongside mine and I think that is very relevant for me to be able to give these students that space. I like to explore how a place can have an effect on people's emotions and behaviours. I look at places that I'm attracted to, so I like urban cities and I create abstract observational pieces um, from this. So I like to take pictures of these places and then paint from them what, how I perceive the place to be. In relation to this exhibition, my intention was to use this piece as a way of challenging um, this idea of how we look at social classes uh, and whether it still draws on middle and upper class stereotypes of working class life. So, for example, I've painted a picture of an empty car park. However, by presenting this image in a gallery space, um, which mainly or mostly attracts pe uh, middle class people, they won't associate that piece to what it is of. The idea was by looking at places uh, deemed as working class environments and subverting them in a way that challenges this type of stereotype. Um, I felt 13 portrayed this illusion as it creates a new way of seeing places and evoking uh, different emotions from the viewers. I mean, really, it's just a painting of a empty car park. Um, to some, it's just a place to park your car. Uh, to others, it's basically a place um, that they will see for the last time before they end their lives. Um, this particular piece, for example, although it is of an empty car park, there are sort of dark things that are associated to it. This particular piece was done on the 13th floor, and ironically, it's had up to 13 suicides. So I thought that was quite an interesting number. Um, considering people associate the number 13 to play to it being unlucky. Hello, my name's Adam Neal. I'm one of the artists in the Ways of Belonging Taste exhibition with Art Gallery at the Birmingham Hippodrome. And my work in Love in Memory of, it looks at the traditional working class through the relationship that I have with my nan. So my nan and my granddad have been the only owners of their home for about 60 years. So I used the domestic space as a way in which to interrogate the traditional working class because I thought that it kind of encapsulated ideas of it when it was at its strongest. Um, so I was looking at each room because each room has a different textured wallpaper, different curtains, different carpet, there's different patterned glass and I was looking at this as a way in which we could kind of compare how the traditional working class operates today against contemporary political, societal and economical shifts. And then these ideas of taste kind of came into it afterwards, because you know what is good and bad taste? Is a different wallpaper in each room good taste? Is it bad taste? And I wanted to feed that back into the idea of the traditional working class. My piece is called The Economy of Visibility, and it's a snakes and ladders game. Um, and it's basically depicting my journey as an artist trying to make it in the creative industry today. Um, as we know, social ladders are getting longer and longer and social mobility is on the decline. Um, and so what I'm addressing with this piece is 
to look at what is uh, success, what is um, meritocracy within the art world, and what are the criteria within different art institutions, and just raising the question of how how an artist is judged. Um, so I'm also um, reappropriating the original Snakes and Ladders game, which was uh, an ancient Indian Hindu game, um, which the British uh, colonialists uh, appropriated it. And I'm kind of reclaiming that and reappropriating it to, to make my piece and show my journey as an artist today in the UK. It's a metal plate which I use uh, and I do a, a UV print showing all the illustrations and text of my personal journey.